Hello Sag, welcome to your reading for January 2024 and Happy New Year. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I am primarily a love reader. That's what I'm going to focus on. If anything else pops up, I will address it, of course. I'm going to be freestyling your tarot spread, starting off with some oracle cards, which are impossible to shuffle. And towards the end of the reading, I will be rolling some dice to get initials and sun signs and angel numbers for you. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, finally, let's see what we have. Antimony, Cancer got the same card. Interesting. And we have Sap of the Moon Plant. <laughs> this is a brand new deck for me. I will have to refer to the book. So you'll have to give me just a second. Now, this is a very interesting combination. Antimony talks about the grey wolf being a very delicate archetype within the alchemical process that needs to be handled uh, very carefully, right? It does talk about the energy of the grey wolf being free-spirited and adventurous, of course, which you are, Saj, but it also carrying this element of corrosion. Think of um, rust, right? Think of rust on a, on a metal jar. Now that rust can be ugly and unsightly because it's destructive at the end of the day, it's corrosing the metal, but it can also form a beautiful patina around that jar that helps it show off its antiqueness. There is something here about your energy being used constructively right it being used creatively and not letting that wild and free-spirited nature that we're all born with as animals right not letting it get away with you using it in a way that you you help create something of wonder something of beauty within yourself or external to your being right this could even talk about art music whatever interestingly sap of the moon plant is a very again very internal um, element it talks about the divine feminine of course but it also talks about your subconscious mind it talks about um, memories it talks about ancient wisdom it talks about all things that are not tangible right it's the unconscious there's something here about Firstly, your dreams being very important. I would highly recommend you keep a dream journal. Meditation being very important, where certain seeds of wisdom that have been planted into your psyche will not be accessible to your conscious mind. They will only be accessible to you through deep meditation. If you are new to meditation, I highly recommend you do it for even five minutes a day and make your practice more regular. There, there is something here about untapped potential, almost this reservoir of beautiful energy within you, Sag, that is not being used to its highest potential, right? This nectar, whatever this is, it can be incredibly healing to whatever it is that you are going through. Let me see what your tarot says. This is a very interesting combo something internal to you that if not used correctly can be corrosive but if used wisely it can turn you into a completely new person it's almost like a switch deep within your psyche it's possible that difficult relationships or difficult connections could have brought out that gray wolf could have brought out that corrosion right where the beautiful alchemy that can come with the grey wolf energy had to take a back seat. All right, now I'm using two decks today. I'm using the Tarot of the Light and the Shadow. We're going to use the Shadow deck to see what it is that you must leave behind in 2023 and the Light deck to see what we can embrace. Wow, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. 
starting off the reading in the shadow i'm feeling for a lot of you you may have lost faith lost faith in yourself lost faith in the process lost faith in god lost faith in the universe lost faith in the divine in the cosmos the wheel of fortune and the shadow can be us getting in the way of alchemy literally when the wheel of fortune is in the light it is us giving the universe permission to almost puppet us to create our destiny while we work hand in hand with it of course but this is a wrench in the works this is loss of faith and it's possible that the tower right it's possible that um you may have been met with a lot of obstacles when it came to love and to a very large extent it brought out the worst in you the nine of pentacles in the shadow you see that now the nine of pentacles in the light is a beautiful card of independence and autonomy now that the north node of the moon has moved into aries and the south node into libra that independence is is being focused on there's a hyper focus on that autonomy right and for good measure it's 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 good that we're doing that because sometimes there are certain relationships within our lives that need to be left behind that are not there to serve our highest good our highest potential but the 9 of pentacles in shadow is isolation for isolation's sake this could be you not knowing the difference between being alone and being lonely right sometimes when we enjoy our own company we we love being alone we are very productive when we're alone we use that wolf energy constructively but in the shadow um i'm almost getting devil's workshop this is not going to apply to everybody but personally speaking i went through this in 2023 where being alone wasn't constructive at all the page of wands in the shadow with the 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck you could have been dealing with somebody here sag who refused to take responsibility somebody who left you picking up all the pieces which is why i feel like a lot of you had to escape from the situation the page of wands can be a very immature energy especially in the shadow and with the 10 of wands that's a whole lot of burdens that you were left to pick up the eight of swords with the wheel of fortune and again i'm i'm getting that manifestation was not your strong point was not your strong suit for a very long time because again that faith was tested thankfully this is all in the past right we need to address this we need to address the darkness before we can step into the light so that we know what we shouldn't be doing moving forward i feel that you being stuck in your head with the wheel of fortune in the shadow um there has to be a reversal in your belief system your ruler jupiter is finally going direct after a pretty decently long retrograde period so you're going all collectively going to be coming back online and you are a very spiritual sign sag you rule the ninth house which is a house of philosophy beliefs and ideals right so some of you may have lost yourselves you may have given in to animalistic tendencies you may have given in to that corrosion and ignored the sap of the moon plant that reversal needs to happen now we have the 5 of pentacles with the 9 of pentacles exactly what i met, what i said earlier the 5 of pentacles is a card of abandonment of isolation right and i feel like for a lot of you if there was a separation and a connection this created a very deep hole in your heart and while those holes are great right they they help us evolve and grow into wiser mature people they can also transform our personalities for the worse if if that energy is not used constructively it can corrode instead of help us wisen up so whatever abandonment or betrayal there was here sag you need to remove the pain from your psyche and only carry the lesson forward right and we have the two of cups yeah i knew this was about somebody else this was not your energy the page of wands i feel that love or whatever this connection was whoever this person was that you were dealing with there may have been 
false starts there may have been um lies betrayal it's almost like you couldn't trust the love that was uh being expressed by this person you see at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups and in the shadow he's tossing that cup aside behind him almost like cups in the tarot represent emotion and love almost like love doesn't matter love is not important you know what i mean and again the ten of wands that i saw at the bottom of the deck with the page of wands this could have been a highly immature person someone who could not take responsibility and um love as a whole just carried this this tint of gray for you it was like a gray cloud over your head and that's why antimony is here because i feel like those memories have become very corrosive all right all right we need to leave this behind saj all right i'm going to pull the light and see how we can correlate this that is a difficult energy to deal with <clears throat> i don't know who it is you were dealing with but they look like a piece of work all right we have the three of wands moving forward forward and upward um i feel that going forward you have a plan it's almost like you're looking to the horizon you know the ships that are coming in for you and you know exactly which color of ship you want that manifestation that power of manifestation that we may have lost a little bit earlier it's coming back online the 3 of wands is the minor arcana card for manifestation that faith that hope that yeah my ship is coming in even if you can't see it yet feel like that faith is being restored the five of cups has been showing up in the light for everybody and to be honest i kind of like it because here in the shadow i'm forced to look at only the shadow meaning of the card right there's no neutrality in the tarot in this deck and in the light deck i'm forced to look at only the light right the five of cups if you're familiar with the original rider wait this is so interesting if you're familiar with the original rider wait it represents a hooded figure grieving over three cups that have been spilled over but he's failing to see the two cups that are standing upright behind him right two very full cups of love that is the the whole analogy of the glass half full half empty you see the two of cups right here while it was in shadow it's almost giving this this card is almost giving a nod to the two of cups in the light for me this is not losing faith in love while digesting the pain that love has come with overall not losing faith in the fact that, that your ship truly is coming in the king of swords i'm going to get one more card with this the two of swords and one more the seven of pentacles you could have invested in somebody and they're showing up again the king of swords could very easily just be an air sign um gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to be but this could be somebody who may have sailed away from the six of swords or someone who has who had sailed away from you because there was a stalemate energy here this person probably didn't match your demeanor you being fire you being warmth right they were probably much colder than you were that was just their personality i don't think they were cold towards love it was just their personality to be very analytical analytical and logical and all of that but despite the investment that was made within this person despite the hope and the faith that this is going to work out there was a stalemate no decision was being made here and it's almost like you always had a guard up but with the queen of wands and the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck something here is changing there's a little bit of warmth coming back online here i'm going to pull a little more and see but this could be the same person that you were dealing with in the past the person the page of wands <clears throat> who was refusing to pick up those 10 wands and left you picking up the pieces they're turning into a king regardless of gender doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to just take the energy with you this is somebody who is growing up a little bit the king to the queen of swords very interesting i feel like over time your love language has transformed saj it could be because of this person 
It doesn't have to be. It could be because of your previous relationships. It doesn't matter. Your love language has changed. And I almost feel like this person is trying to match that love language. There could have been arguments with the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. There could have been debates. But I'm almost getting, because all of this is in the light, I'm getting fighting for each other instead of against each other. I don't know if this is someone new or someone old. It doesn't matter. It just carries the energy of love regardless. There is a match. We have a divine pairing right here. And I feel like the two of you, it's almost like you're on the same team. The king of wands. I saw the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. And the two of cups finally in the light. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I was talking about the two of cups showing up in the shadow and kind of showing up in the light as well. Now it's fully showing up in the light. I knew this was talking about love. Any other reader would have seen the wands and the swords and all of that and, and not spoken about love at all. I knew I was feeling something here. There's a lot of depth of feeling in this situation. But I feel like the two of you are almost carrying this, um, you're wearing these armors because there's a fear here, a fear of the past repeating itself, of history repeating itself. But I almost feel like the corrosion that transpired, right? Think of your relationship as that jar, whatever corrosive element wrapped itself around that jar, it's turning into a beautiful patina. I, I feel like it strengthened your relationship somehow. All of those trials have strengthened your relationship somehow. And the King of Cups. I absolutely love this reading. There are so many archetypes here. And I like that. I feel that the two of you have gone through a lot of transformations internally and you have embraced parts of yourself that you may have been ignoring earlier both of you judgment at the bottom of the deck something's coming back around for a do-over Saj and you're both very different from what you were earlier the last time you had you did this little dance and the end result is going to be very different from what you're used to it is possible that you've, you've done this dance before, right? You've had to do this over and over again with this person. Or even if it's not the same person, in general, love may have, may have carried that theme for you. But this time, something's different. This time, there's an evolution. Not just within the connection, but between both people who are in that relationship. There's logic, of course, there's experience that leads to wisdom. There's love. And there's a very high emotional intelligence, a high EQ. This is very interesting. We have temperance and the page of swords. There you are with the seven of cups. Don't rush into this. Because firstly, Jupiter, your ruler, is going to take a little bit of time coming back online because it's going to have its foreshadow period to go through. So will Mercury. So your mind may still be just a little muddled. And I was a little all over the place, admittedly, during this reading. I wasn't very clear and I apologize. But um, I feel like that's how you are feeling. That sharp clarity of thought that one should have. You don't have it just yet. Neither do I. <laughs> Let your planet move completely out of shadow. Things are going to make a lot more sense for you and this person. But the trajectory of this relationship, of where this is going, I absolutely love it. This, this kind of reading is what leads to the Ten of Pentacles, to that legacy of love, to generational wealth, to solid, solid, solid relationships. All right, let's see what your dice has to say, Saj. 
we have leo you could be dealing with a leo you may have leo heavily in your chart doesn't have to be but we have a full moon in leo on the 25th of january so that could be a particularly important date for you keep that in mind and this also rules the fifth house so romance dating play stop putting so much pressure on yourself right you're a very happy go lucky sign my dad's a sagittarius and i keep reminding him um that he is one <laughs> because sometimes if you guys get too serious right it kind of freaks everybody out so embrace the inner child that we're all born with you particularly then we have i always mess this up we have jupiter there we are I'm not making this up i hope you can see it yeah now jupiter i have been mentioning is going direct your ruler a lot of blockages are going to be lifted for you saj i promise you that and then we have the number 5 if you have been seeing triple 5 a lot it talks about change and something new coming in and i absolutely love that for you and 5 again the house fifth house of romance dating play creativity joy music dancing indulge yourself just a little bit all right Let's see what initials we can get for you. All right, we have the letters F, P, H, I, J, M, and H again. These could be your initials. They could be the initials of someone you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. just a special mention for those of you who've seen your initials here today all right saj that was it i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye